Mikalili is too far. This is not a, this is not marriage. This is madness. Can you have basic bef respect comes before love? You can somebody can tell you they love you and they don't respect you. <laughs> this man, well, I want to see it. I want to see it till the end. <laughs> Stop warning people. <laughs> Let me do Let that. people be real. Let me see the where they are. You don't have to go to the doctor and lie that there's no pain. <laughs> if it is here, so it is here. Just be real. I let the doctor tell you you ate the wrong things. That's why you're dying. Uh, let's really. just try. <laughs> let's just try. Did you see the caption? The one question that Mikali could not ask Zulu. Did you see it? She could not read it to the end. It's like I couldn't. I couldn't. So now, yes. the things to do and, uh, you know, make... I want you to phrase it well so that I pick it from there. Okay, cool. Here we go. To develop a strong relationship with your partner. You're using good language. Please, uh, you should have gotten an A in English. Thank uh, you. Develop. Develop. <laughs> because, yes. let's start by saying that good things in life don't ha just happen. No, they don't. Movies talk about falling in love. And they make it look like, feel like <laughs> a, a, it found you. Oh my God, I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> I am just not in love. So, you, falling insinuates no control. That's you trip true. and fall. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. and, and, and this misperception has caused people to ruin their lives by dating the wrong people. I'll, ladies keep telling me, this guy is married, but I love him. <laughs> so it, uh, that was the question I couldn't ask. <laughs> are you in control of your feelings or mm. are you a victim of your own heart? Mm. You must, emotions don't think, you have to think for them. We say follow your heart, but please carry your head with you yes. so that your head becomes a compass. That's all right. True. There are sometimes you feel somebody, but you know they are not available. <laughs> you pull back your emotions, go elsewhere. Yeah. So how to develop your feelings? Uh, I mean, your love. You found the one. Now yes. you're developing the love. You're working yes. with it. And we are not discounting. Find. I mean, the chemistry, the connection. That's what we call falling in love. The chemistry, the, the the connection, the click that you feel like you know a deep a resonance with a person. You feel like you have known them for very long. Mm. We listed signs the other day that this is one. One of them, you said you have endless conversations on anything. That's true. <laughs> All right. And your guards are down. Yeah. This person feels like home. Home you is not a peace. place. Yes. Home is not a place. Mm. Home is a feeling. Mm. All right. It's not a house. No. <laughs> you can be in a house, but you're, it's not where your shoes are. That's true. <laughs> you can go there, but you're not at home. Yeah. <laughs> home is a feeling. Oh my God, I feel at home. That's where they start saying, keep feeling, feel at home, feel at home, yes. feel comfortable, feel feel accepted. So there are many signs, but after you found that one, now you're in a, or you're married in a relationship. Number one is conduct regular relationship checkups. Ah, conduct oh, regular relationship checkups. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to know that main, many diseases kill because we delay to diagnose the problem. That's true. Relationships break because we delayed to diagnose the problem also. Okay. Right. Okay. There are some things you are doing, and we can lead, relationships can be killed by weird things like how you chew. That's so true. Open the brush, men of siku. Just some people can't stand their snoring, the snoring of the partner. Yeah. So th those ones I like calling them weaknesses because they are unconscious. Yes. They are not intentional. They are not malicious. No. Weaknesses should never ruin relationships. If a person has a body odor, work on it. If the guy has problem uh, driving the vehicle to the end, uh, scoring the football, go seek solution. Mm. <laughs> Don't abandon a person because of, you shall abandon because of their attitude towards the weakness. Yep. The other day I addressed people of mental health, it's a sensitive topic. And I told them, if you, have a, if you are prone to anxiety or schizophrenia or you have, you have this problem, mental illnesses are just like bodily illnesses. Mm -hmm. You should take charge and control them. Go seek treatment, go seek. So if this person has any problem that emanated from elsewhere, yes. their family has this problem of having forgetfulness. I'm mm. one of the people who forget a lot. I mm. told you I went to the market and forgot the bicycle there. <laughs> and I you went did? home. Yes. What? And I'm like, they're asking, where's the bicycle? It's evening and they can't see the bike. Where's the bike? What was last lesson seen with it? I'm just <laughs> going. <laughs> The thing is, me, me, I go, no, I don't go to the back. <laughs> then I ran back and thought, where I stopped it outside the shop is still there. Oh, Luckily, people knew it. Yes. <laughs> so the watchman, uh, you kijana, where, where? <laughs> so I bought something and ran. I bought a camera today, went to print photo, photo. When I held the photographs, I forgot the camera. Okay. <laughs> and they carried. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it has been a serious problem. Yeah. I carried money, started playing football. The money fell. I arrived to the shop with football, no money. <laughs> 
honestly have had, and I am not the only one. My dad would torment all of us looking for something he's holding. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So okay. if there's a problem that ran in our problem, you know, about forgetting. Yes. So uh, my husband has to put up with uh, looking for, uh, and, and they said one of the wife's skills is to be able to show a man something that is just in front of him. <laughs> we are good. We are very good at and that. And he's irritated about it. Oh, look, my socks. Like, <laughs> So I have a problem. But if I come here with an attitude of, don't ask me. If I come with a bad attitude about my forgetfulness, that's the reason you shall confront me. Okay. Not my, the problem that runs in our generation about forgetting. Yes. I was not that, uh, in, in class I would score nearly everything. But mm -hmm. again, I'll forget pens today. I'll forget the book there. <laughs> I would just switch up because I used to daydream a lot. Yes. We go to Zambani Kulima and I'm standing there daydreaming about aeroplanes. And I'm supposed to be. <laughs> so <laughs> ah, you came here to count clouds. <laughs> so oh goodness. We, we are saying the weaknesses that a person runs, you shall not reject them for. You go for checkups. Checkup is a, if you started the premarital counseling, for mm -hmm. example, if you started with a person who walked you as you came, the couple that talked to you, the, the mentors, the coaches, occasionally check on them because they'll ask you fundamental questions yes. that you're not asking. They'll ask you about the seasons of your life, how you're doing. They can see on your face that you're not very happy. Mm. They can see when you hesitate. And we said many times, the silence before the answer is the real punctuation, the context for the answer. If you ask a lady, how are you, how are you and Jim doing? Okay, we're doing well. Ah, <laughs> that oh, I really that have behavior the answer. before yes. it. But if, if you ask if you ask Jemo, hey Jemo, uh, you and Clara, how are you doing? Hey man, we're doing so well. You see the end, the, the glow. So you need to visit those people who can ask fundamental questions. Sometimes, yes. uh, and, uh, and I told you not to be addicted to, pre, uh, to, to best couple. Sometimes best okay. couple, they have too much interest to see you go a certain direction. O always evaluate. If, if you have uh, outgrown them, you can't trust them anymore. Sometimes it's not a couple, they are just separate people. Mm. Like as I just picked a person here and another one there. Mm. <laughs> the well, that works, yeah. So I want you to go for life coach them. Go for counselors them. Don't wait for crisis. I want you to be very careful. Do relationship checkup at least once a year okay. after you've achieved things, all right? Yes. Always, and sometimes it can be just a friend. It does not have to be a formal thing that you're paying, but I want you to be so friendly that you have those guys who can ask questions. And you women, because you have a stronger emotional thermometer, yes. I, want you to, I want you to always start these things, initiate them. Women can be busy with work. <laughs> we yeah. forget um, those things that are just about relationship mm. and about life. Mm. It's about the next goal, the next money, the next project, the next thing. Men are so career oriented sometimes. Yes. The woman has to be the one to do. Hey, we are visiting so and so. I have, have, have books. That's how I hear it having been planned, and everybody is aware of it, and I'm the last one to be informed. Hey, on the seventh. <laughs> Don't put anything on that Sunday. Yes. So it's, it's important you do relation. The other, the other thing is um, build something together. And we clearly want to emphasize this. Okay. There are people who marry and they get comfortable. And they start growing apart. All right? They start busy with their career, busy and busy. And then the things that connect you minimize, minimize until you have no common stories. Except you only talk when there's a problem, when there's a quarrel. Until you no longer mean long to, miss, to meet that person again. Mm. And, 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 and you, you, you share the bed, but you don't share the heart. So that mm. you're close physically, but you're not close emotionally. Yeah. How I want you to build things together is it can be a project. It can be something you... And I told couples to always have something they're working on. There's a couple that told me it's something I've forgot it. Uh, we are done buying that plot, but now we are starting, we are applying for another loan to buy something else. For them, they work with the loans. Okay. There are couples that don't like, like, like for me, I, I fear loans a lot because if <laughs> anything happens, there'll be auction. I don't have a salary. <laughs> My business, and you know business is behave eclectic. Yes. Today is good, tomorrow is dry. Yes. So I avoid loans. I try to work with savings mm. <laughs> so that mm. I know even if things, I'll just delay. I'll, yes. not, be, <laughs> I'll not be defaulting. Mm. So, but people who are salaried, their, their income is regular. They can yeah. easily work with, work with what works for you, but always have something in front of you. It can be a business you are, you, are, you are building. It can be something big, property, business. And remember, um, Kali, together you only have about 30 years of productivity. After yeah. that, you'll only be eating what you are being, building. 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 You'll be passing. And I don't want, I don't want your children, our children in future. They are wedding. They are starting life. And you can't give them anything. In mm. fact, they're the ones sending you fair. The mm. mayhem that is going on in Africa. Mm. We inherit poverty and the loans and negatives. I want our children, when they are wedding, starting life, hand them a plot, hand them a house, hand them a car. Let them start somewhere. Not like us, who had to continue fighting with landlords five years into marriage <laughs> and yes. fighting the basics. So I want you to build for the sake of the children. All right? Okay. Okay. The next thing is... We, we, we need to take a break right there. Right. But I like that, that we need to be working on something together. Um, then we'll have a conversation going on. We'll be checking up on each other. We'll have something to look forward to together, not separately. For all your questions, triple one, triple four, triple one, as you as that Rika too. Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali Benjamin Zulu in the building. We're talking about how to develop a strong relationship with your partner. And Zulu, you mentioned one, you need to have relationship checkups, uh, you know, constantly. Just be able to just see where you are at, build something together. That was number two. Mm -hmm. And you said, uh, um, now the next thing is anticipate their needs. After we come together, start to learn me. It's irritating to have to repeat to me every day the oh same goodness. thing you keep telling me. Be louder, please anticipate my f tastes my style how i like things done yes and i told you small things like never putting just the right amount of salt in food mm. <laughs> just and every day i have to say it again mm. every day i have to say it again it it, it makes me ask are you paying attention uh, and I, I notice that women are particular with the cleanliness of the house. Yes. Although not all women are clean. Yeah. Men, we know better. Mm. There's a guy I know who, it is him who has to do things in the house. <laughs> the woman has no sensitivity to cleanliness. <laughs> it's so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> so difficult. Yes. Uh, uh, so I notice that uh, you, you can annoy your woman by just the way you handle the towel, the way you leave your shoes every day, and your she keeps socks. saying it, your yes. socks. Yes. We men, we have that problem. So I, I like maintaining a cheerful attitude and a child like apology quickly. You apologize quickly please heal the irritation those small things do not build into so anticipate their needs by knowing how they prefer things done and and and, and i want you to take opportunity when a person is needed to show them how much you value them okay go out of your way to do something for them go out of your way one time i dropped my wife somewhere and i realized when we arrived there she forgot her phone so mm -hmm. it was not must for me because i had other things to attend she said okay i'll get it when i go back but i Im imagine if it was me without a phone for so long mm. i'll feel disconnected mm. so i take it upon myself just go pick and she feels so that you anticipated it is caring so anticipate their needs and take that opportunity to show them how much you care okay i, 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 I can see your questions there i <laughs> do i do kuna <laughs> moja hapa imingia to size it. as it comes can i mention don't, don't please, please make good use of crisis we can really don't pray that crisis. your partner... Yes, crisis. Uh -huh. we, don't, we, we don't hope that your partner wrongs you, like cheating on you uh -huh. or failing in certain... But if it ever happens, yes. use it to reset your relationship. Use it to renew the commitment by showing how serious you are that you've, you love them, but you not tolerate disrespect. Okay. And I told you to always be ready to walk away in no engagements, jobs and relationships. Never let people think you have no option. Let them know that you're staying here as long as we are upholding self-respect, we are upholding mutual respect, we are upholding... But the moment a person wrongs you so bad, let them know that this one is not possible. I can't put up with this. And now, run away and let them run after you. If they run after you now, you reset the relationship. Yes. I know many couples that thrived after the one who was a little bit proud and entitled, messed up, and stood the chance of being left alone, yes. and realize how much they need you. And Mikali, I want to remind you that it's not love. I know this controversial, but it's not love that keeps people faithful. Mm -hmm. It's when they calculate what they stand to lose. So it's fear of losing you that makes people faithful. So never let them lose sight of that fear. Okay. Keep them fearful. Keep them fearful. <laughs> Hi, Mikali. Loving the show. My question is, how do you build a strong relationship? Where are you? How do I build a strong relationship when you're the only one who feels like uh, you're putting the efforts? Your partner does not contribute to anything. Neither does he appreciate what I do. Atani Kimuli's opinion. Nyake is always like, where fanya tu when unataka? Honestly, I feel like I'm the only one pulling the strings na nimechoka. We're not yet married and I feel I should just leave Kostaki Kuingia Kwandoa with someone we can't work with or even share ideas. It is so frustrating. Go ahead. She has described a situation well and she's not yet in a contract. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're not yet married. Yes, this is the time to correct course. Yes. Now I want to, I want to warn all of us about Please. what she is describing. She has okay. not used the right words, mm -hmm. but their energies don't match. Okay. It's invisible, but it shows in every little thing. You have more driven. You want more. You stretch further. You act faster. You respond more. You are more sensitive. Those are energies that are mismatched. Oh, this goodness. problem will show up everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. So she'll continue being yes. frustrated. And not just in attending to each other's needs. No. Achievements. Attending to kids. How quickly you prepare. How, how driven. She will achieve more in the work. She will be, be promoted ten times before the guy climbs one step. Oh, goodness. This energy difference shows up everywhere, Mikali. Don't ignore difference in energy and the drive for life. I call it life force. Life force is like fire. Some people's fire are big. Other people's are like a candle. Small. They are here. You see them wearing suits. Okay. <laughs> they look peaceful from mountain. Only that when you come closer, you realize they are not driven about life. They're just there. And there are people who are like them. They can marry a person like that and they mm -hmm. simply live a simple life. Yeah, yeah. Just taking things easy, waiting for Jesus to take them to heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. So... <laughs> 
there are people who don't want to, and they find your spirit disturbing. Okay. In fact, they keep You're accusing nagging. you. Yes. In fact, Mikalevi is a problem. When you succeed, when you're that person, they keep accusing you of your success. Because you bought a car, you're looking down upon me. Because you have a master's, look down. now this PhD you did, look down upon me. Now because you are this. They keep accusing you of the very thing you achieved and nobody stopped them from achieving it. Mm. They feel mm. intimidated, but they want you to feel guilty because of it. This girl should save herself. You heard? Let's talk about expectations for a bit. Uh, if w the, the, uh, the um, not talking about it or not saying the things that you want or desire or things that you want your partner to do for you, could this be a recipe for disaster as yes, well? Yes, this is a problem with uh, communication and comprehension, understanding. So I want you to, to know that I'm not a mind reader. And I want you to tell me, even, even if it seems obvious, yes. sometimes because of our different worldviews, the way we grew up in Kali matters a lot. I want to teach your children in future, Mikali. Teach your children to greet each other when they wake up. That's why they, when they grow up, they'll always call each other up. Yeah. That's how it translates. I realized later in life, I had no habit of calling anyone. <laughs> I'm just surviving. <laughs> I'll call you when I need you. I, I, I honestly, I, I, I was need-based. When a person called, oh, so what's up? Uh, I wanted you to tell me, we, our family was like that. I came to trace it back to how we were brought up. Okay. We were not brought up to wake up and greet each other. So I want you to know some of these people you're marrying came from families that were disconnected. And you have to express to them, I expect us to talk at least three times a day, mm. even if there's no issue. In fact, when I see, I, I, I want to know, what is the cause now? Why are you calling me? <laughs> so now, but nowadays I've evolved. It's just checking on each other. Are you healthy? Are you okay? Even 30 seconds is okay. Now I can call just, hey guys, you're doing okay? All right, greet them. And we go. So I want you to communicate to me because many of the things you expect me, they were not planted in me. No. And many of them will take a while to learn. But I told you, check the attitude of the one you're teaching. Yes. If they are receptive, don't lose heart. If they are not receptive, they are not ready to work with you. Okay. Okay. Hi, good morning. My name is Faith. I was dating this guy last year, January. He suddenly started ghosting me. Then at the end of the year, he texted me on Facebook saying, Facebook, Facebook. Okay. Saying he misses me and he looked for me. Blah, blah, blah. Because I changed my number. So the blah, blah is not me. It's in the text, guys. No, it's not me. So I fell for him and we started dating again. Now it's been three months, but we've broken up because I, re I refused to have sex the last time we met. What do I do now because I love him? Now, when people ghost you, I want you to treat ghosts and the spirits of the dead <laughs> the same way you treat all others. Leave, <laughs> let the dead people rest in peace. <laughs> we can next time people ghost you. Do, yes. do, imagine if today, don't, don't resurrect people who have ghosted. No. Do, today, if you met the spirit of the dead, even if you used to love the person they were alive, you run away. I, don't allow people to resurrect into your life. Mm -hmm. The fact of ignoring <laughs> you and going cold and not minding up checking about you that's enough communication why do people keep re please respect actions more than words okay when people disappear on you feel your pain but do what you do you always do with people who die please read the flower there and say i liked it but uh, it has happened like that go on with your life yes that one action shows you what to expect in future if a person comes and sweet talks their way into your heart and you open it again, you are opening another pain. You, are, you have taught them the pattern. Sometimes you think you're being understanding, while in fact you are looking disrespect. Mm. You're inviting a pattern of disrespect. Yeah. You're inviting abuse. Mm -hmm. I want you, sometimes you will suffer in life, not because you're a bad person, but because you do not know when to stop being good, being too good. Yeah. Be extending to people. So w once people go to you once weekly from there on, don't give them your heart. Even they don't come back, let, tell them let's remain friends. Friends, you know, friends can vanish and come back. Yeah. They come back. But yeah. about this, so and I told you last time, the first sign of maturity, especially of men, men are the leaders in the relationship. The first sign that whether he is mature before you check anything else, does he communicate consistently? That's what's up. A person who loves you will check on you whether you are healthy, whether you are okay. In fact, you will find their missed call. Women enjoy missed calls of men who care about them. That's true. They, just to find that he looked for you, mm. it feels good. Mm. To find that your phone is blank, even the one you call your lover has not <laughs> called you. There's, some, there's a bad feeling about it. That's true. You thought they are special about you mm. and you're done with your shows. It was two hours running. You're wondering who looked for me and he's not there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was younger, Zulu, when you expect this call and it's not coming through, I'd even switch off my phone. I'd think it's the network. <laughs> You restart, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just, just see if a text will check the in. The first sign of a person who you are in their heart yes. is that they will look for you. That's you true. find a text, yeah. you find a call, yeah. or they know you are said they are looking for it. How was the show? I was not able to watch, but I knew <laughs> you were doing well. Please, can we start with the basics? People are going too far. Start there. 
That's true. And there's no way you're building a strong relationship if somebody's not part of that relationship. If they're ghosting you, then they're not in it. Thank you. They're not. Hi, Mikali. Loving the show. My question is, uh, no, not that one. I'm Jero from Maraquet. My question is uh, that Nikona, my husband, he talks to me when he has a problem. But when I have solved it and he has gotten well, Anani Tusiburi. That uli sema pale tuangalie actions. Kidogo stay away from the words. Uyu anacheza na words. Thank you. Why were you in, why are you mentioning insults casually? They, they shouldn't be. We can leave I sit here and call you those things people call each other. Dogs, whatever. By the time I call you that thing, how, where is the respect? There's no respect. This text should have been about the insult, not those other things. Yes. Mikali, let me tell people, don't go to, Mikali, let's start here. And, and I hope people can mention their ages so that they can advise them more accurately. Because many, many of them I can see it's a childish problem. You're asking an adult question, but you're a child. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You, before you got relationships, set your minimum acceptables. I will have this kind of relationship or none at all. Start there. Did you decide that you'll have a man who respects you or none at all? Mm. This girl did not start by saying, I can't live with a man who's calling me names. Mm. Women, for them to have sex with you, to be intimate with you, they must feel loved, cherished. That's true. If somebody just called you a dog, how will you have sex with them? Mikali, this is too far. This is not a, this is not marriage. This is madness. Can you have basic beef? Respect comes before love. You can somebody can tell you they love you and they don't respect you. Somebody can't call you names like mm. you are levy. Mm. Like the other drunk men they insult over there. And you say it, uh, uh, please, I want you to make yourself unavailable for some transactions and let That's them true. know you are not available. Mm -hmm. And we are don't, please don't trade your happy single life for a miserable relationship. That's true. We are only trading for two things in this life, mm. happily married or happily single. Not miserably married or miserably single. Nope. Make yourself happy alone so that whoever comes, they should either add to the happiness or subtract to their presence. <laughs> yes. So please, the problem here is your standards. You do not set the minimum. Acceptable. Please, I like start that. there. I like that. Enjoying the show, Mikali. Please, I've been in a relationship, but they don't. I've been in relationships, but they don't seem to work because of our dominions. What is that? I'm never ready to leave my. Oh, this is the religion, I think. Denominations, yeah. Dom, uh, yeah. I'm never ready to leave my denomination or dominion when my partner asks me to. Oh, listen, ma then marry from your denomination. Yeah. If it has no candidates, quit. <laughs> You're not the founder. <laughs> hey, are you a sister in Jesus Christ? Ooh, Hello, ooh, I have ooh, announcement. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why should a church limit your life? We can leave. My parents took me to uh, Lenjomalia or some, some African church of the Holy Spirit sanctified somewhere in Kakamega. And I was born there. Then I grow up. I want to marry. There are no girls here. Only shoes. I will politely migrate to a church where I can find candidates. Yes. So don't let, don't let, please. Are you worshiping God or the church? Mm. So if you find that, and I told Mikali it's okay to outgrow a church. Mm -hmm. It's very healthy to outgrow a church. Church is just a group of Christians. You can go to another group. The go God is the one you're worshipping. Yes. These are just community of believers. Yes. All right? So don't let a denomination limit you. If you're not finding a husband, that will the denomination marry you? Will it? Question mark. Hello, Switch. Zulu, I confirm you're already good. <laughs> <laughs> is, am I being massaged for a bad question? <laughs> Thank you. <Right. laughs> if it's God not a created <laughs> each person to prosper and he declares to have good plans for everyone, why do we have poor, rich, and wealthy? Is money bad? As some people say, those who have money are sinners. <laughs> what about some people uh, who say human beings can't be witch, can't be bewitched, and not to make? It? Okay, too confused. much philosophy. Yes. Let me answer it in one question. Please do. I was just like, <laughs> what? God's promises require your participation. Yes. God promised you prosperity, but you must also work on it. Mm -hmm. God promised the children of Israel a lot of promised land, but it was them to, he will help them in the fight, but they should show up for the battle. Yeah. So some people simply don't show up. Other people take, blessed are the poor in spirit. They take the poor at your sort of money. <laughs> and they think being poor looks humble. Mm -hmm. And then they think wealth is about uh, Illuminati. Yes. Go home and build a house. They say you would store, you took my genie, he took this. Mm. They give it a bad label so they can look good in their poverty. So your mindset, remember God took the children of Israel from Egypt, but he didn't quite get them to the promised land. Mm. It is not his power that diminishes, it is their attitude, their participation. Ah. He had to work with their children and the journey delayed so long. 
Yeah. There's a time he did not take them through the shorter route. He took them th through the Red Sea, although it was longer. And he's right there because he, he, he saw they were fear. They were enemies and ran back. That people are so ruled by fear. They will not start businesses. They will not risk a good relationship. They will not partner with anyone. They're so afraid. They're poor. They, so, and Mikalia, I have always told people this. They don't want to hear it because the uh, NGOs drive on it. Mm. When they say about poverty is not lack of money, it's a mindset. It for you mindset. to remain poor for years over years. Yes. Poor, I usually abbreviate poor as passing over opportunities repeatedly. Oh, yeah. Passing over opportunities yeah. repeatedly. Mm. You can be born in a place of depraved, depraved, there's no enough resources. But if you think wide, if you decide, if you want more, you go for it. You realize throughout life, you will find opportunities and get there. Yeah. Even workers, we, 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 people say Kenya problem is joblessness. It's not. In fact, it's harder to find a good worker mm. than to find a job. Mm. When workers are looking for a job, they can find a job faster than the employer looking for a good person to employ. You understand? I get you. We don't have, I, we don't have people with work ethic. We don't have driven people. We don't have masters in their craft. People go to universities to sleep. They only study two, units, two weeks to the exam. They go raving, sleeping together, drinking and dancing and nonsense. And they go online to write toxins, complaining about government and everyone. It's because we have useless youth in this country. So please, engage me on another deal for the philosophy. But pro the problem is not God. It's not government. It's you. Where? Hi, Mwikali. I'm Abigail. I want to ask, what of I um, what if I have a husband, a husband of a kind? I <laughs> he makes me feel insecure by trying to compare me with other kind of ladies. Why do you put up with the conversation? Next time he compares, you tell them because that person is better. Please go for them. Admit it. Some mm. women have made themselves to remember. We can be said your self respect is the first thing in this world. The world doesn't know you. It's them to tell them what mm. you're worth. Mm -hmm. It's you to tell the world. We can have gone to a meeting, to a party, to a place, and there's a person who impressed you a lot. They yeah. look handsome or they look beautiful. Mm. But the moment you start your conversation with them, just the first few sentences, right. the whole respect disappears. Empty. Thank you. They, you realize they have no. You had overestimated them. The way they talk, <laughs> <laughs> you even start to destroy. You like, check. You, you, <laughs> you receive a fake call to go away. You looked better. When you were quiet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the appearance is, is made, while another person there who had not even impressed you, you had not even noticed, there are uh -huh. some girls who don't have any uh, conspicuous features. Mm -hmm. They're not physically outstanding. They wouldn't be win in any beauty contest. Even in their family, they can't win. <laughs> but her spirit, her energy, you start talking to her, suddenly you are amazed by how much of belief she has, the depth of her conversations, her sunny attitude towards life, the fun, the humor, the engaging, how she understands or how she is easy to... That is the person who impresses you the most you tell the world what you are worth by how you carry yourself that man could be putting you down because you accept remember nobody can disrespect you without your permission that's right? true that's true set the standard tell them you can throw them under at me but hey you do not stay with me that and remember for a person to put you down they must be feeling down already mm. for a person to throw dung at you mm. they must hold the dung themselves mm -hmm. so this is a person who's already scared at your strength that they're trying to dim your light don't accept it okay here we go Hi, Mwikali. Uh, I have... Wait, where did you go? Um, enjoying the show, please. I've been... No, no, no. Not that one. Not that one. Let me just get... Here we go. Good morning, Mwikali. I'm 20 years old. And I'm seeing this man. No, don't continue. Mwikali, if you're 20... I'm Jerry. Okay, please finish. If you're 20, go plant a tree and grow with it first. Yes. Stop planting Did you say five years problems. or seven years? By the time with? you reach 25, that yes. tree will be five years. You'll have evolved with it. It will have taught you patience, yes. slow growth, attentiveness, quietness, and minding your own business. Mikali, last weekend, I traveled up country to show these pre-25s how to plant a tree. I'm doing a show with them every Sunday morning, 7 a.m., to show them how, what to do their lives instead of writing this nonsense. Mm. So next time you have attention, listen, let me, let me t tell you this one. Next please. time you get attention of experts like us, please ask things that can improve your life. <laughs> Don't ask about men and trousers and sleeping and sex and breakups and nonsense. You are only 20. Why are you shutting your life? Do you have a covenant with death and depression and disaster and death? What's wrong with you? You're too young. Can you start with the money? Look, you're broke. You have no money. You can't even afford me. You have to throw questions on TV because they're free. You can't, th they, they break their heart and they can't afford me. Oh my God, I'm glad. He left me. And you are 22, you are 21. Can you go to the right things first? That's Poverty is a mindset. Mm. One last question before I let you go. Uh, Zulu, I've been married for six years. We have two boys. My husband does things on his own. He pays rent, uh, buys food. He pays school fees for a son. That's all. When I try to tell him, let's save and buy a plot. Anasema sina pesa. He's not employed. He's a businessman. Nakila wakati anasema pesa haitoshi. I am buying my own plot and he doesn't want to be a part of it. I am tired. I think we mentioned something to do yeah, with you this. You said two things here. Yes. Drag this man to a council. Go do the relationship checkup. Oh, yeah. Go converse about okay. this. Okay. Say this is breaking us up. 
and show him if you don't attend to it, we are growing apart. Because then I'll be forced to buy properties alone. Yeah. I'll be forced to, for them to have my name. Mm. I'll be forced eventually to, to for us to look like two people. We are supposed to be a team. Or at least he's doing some good things. He's paying bills. Yes. Tell them, hey, you're doing so well, but I wish we can do better by yeah. cooperating. Mm. So either get this person to a relationship checkup, counselor or coach or anybody. Sometimes you trick these people. Life coaches we can meet in hotels. That's the good news. You don't have to be in a room. Ah. So you can you guys go for dinner and invite. Uh, I invited this person. Sorry, I surprised you, but I wanted us to convert this. I, I think we are growing apart, and I hate to lose. I hate to lose, to lose what we have. Mm -hmm. The direction we are going. Many men will end up talking if you make it easy. If you make it friendly, it's because I love you so much. I'm afraid we are growing apart. Use wisdom and get him to converse about it. Absolutely. Thank you for coming through, Zulu. <sighs> Most welcome. Always amazing. Social media handles. Benjamin like Benjamin Zulu K E zero seven zero one two nine nine triple three. There's been a question about you bringing Mrs. Zulu here. <clears throat> Do you think it's something that you can look forward to this year? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a core conspirator in that conspiracy. <laughs> Do you think it's possible, Zulu? On April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this one very much. <laughs> we take a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mikali. <laughs>